And there it is, the 6A championship trophy out of Crystal Lake, the Prairie Ridge Wolves. We need to practice hard every day, and that's what got us the championship last year. That's gone. Last year didn't happen. That's our mentality. We just can't think about last year. We got to focus on this year. Let's go, boys! We got a big target on our back. Hey, squeeze on your toes and drive your knees up. Tough is showing up to practice every day and working your tail off. It's going to be strange having you guys around. <laughs> Not a bad thing. Last November, Prairie Ridge won its second state championship since 2011. When the time came for Chris Schremp's group to reassemble for their first summer practice on June 26th, the defending 6A champs were greeted with a surprise. I think we've got something this year that's uh, really going to excite you guys. I think we've kind of outdone ourselves uh, this year. Let's take a look at the video. The Wolves found out they were our drive team for the 2017 season. It's an exciting thing uh, because I still get college coaches saying, where's Prairie Ridge? Never heard of Prairie Ridge. Well, at the end of this year, trust me, everybody will know who Prairie Ridge is and what we're all about. You mic'd up right now? Go! Yeah. Oh, shoot. You can hear what I'm saying? I did a naked gun. I went in and I took a leap around. <laughs> nope. This is out. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Testing, Panther testing. Like he yeah. He's smiling at me right now. <laughs> nervous today? Let's stick with the plan. You got a lot of guys that are going to want to beat you and have it seen on Friday nights. Okay, not only on the field, but on the show afterward. That's why last year's glory is just a thing of the past for the Wolves. Gone. The first day right now. That's gone. Last year didn't happen. That's our mentality. We just can't think about last year. We got to focus on this year. We can't just rely on what we did last year. That's not going to happen this year if we don't put in the work. That mentality is what this Prairie Ridge program is built on. One step leads to the next. A journey of a thousand miles won't begin with a single step, boys. Woo! What does that mean, Joe? Why do I put that up there, Joe? Why do we have that? Well, up it's there? our first day of football practice. It starts right now. It starts with that first step out on the field. We don't worry about anything. Later this week, we don't worry about anything later this season. And it shows. In 15 seasons under head coach Shrimp, the Wolves have been to the playoffs 12 times and have reached the state semifinals five of the last eight years. That was the thing with last year's team, is they came every day ready to practice. And if we have a team that does that, yeah, we should have a good team again. Summer practice can be grueling. To break up the monotony, the Wolves packed up for a three-day mini camp at Carthage College in Kenosha, Wisconsin where they eat. We're going with the double patty so we get the double protein. Sleep. What's the dorm life like, guys? It's just like, you know, cozy. Like, we're all pretty close together. And breathe football. It's this. It's that quick of a turn. Out of one, Captain. Go. You're going to strip the ball. You're punching or knocking it out, right? Punch it up. This is just the first step we took today. Tomorrow, we got to make sure we're better. As the sun sets after a hard day of practice, attention turns to letting loose. Both got talent. Probably in this room heard Tim speak more in that three minutes than we have <laughs> the entire time Tim has been part of our program. After returning home, torrential rains caused the lakes and rivers in Lake County to spill over their banks and affecting the lives of loved ones and strangers in their community. The Wolves stepped up to lend a hand by filling sandbags. It was just a great feeling for all of us as a team to come together and how about the community as a whole. That's the, the life lessons that we talk about learning from being part of our program. That's what we want. Back on the field, practice stepped up a notch. Oh! Job, Zach. It's seven on seven scrimmages against other teams from around the area. The, the frustrating thing for us offensively is the defense that we see is not the defense that we're going to see on Friday night. And, and that's the thing that 
we got to teach the kids too. You know, we're going to go out to this seven on seven, and we'll see, you know, teams with seven guys in the field and all dropping back, straight back. You know, we see that on a Friday night. We're going to run the ball every time and probably score 100 points. Uh, so we're seeing defenses that we wouldn't normally see. But it is an opportunity for the Wolves to strengthen their defense. From Kerry running something comparable to us to a Huntley that's spread to a Jacobs that's running a little bit of both. And the exposure that we can get um, to spread offenses or different types of offenses during the, during the summer is, is huge. Come on, Joe, that's you. That's why we got you in the position you're in. Across the board, I think, since, since the beginning, the first practice, the first seven on seven, I mean, we've improved tremendously. Just even from knowing where we need to be, lining up, and then uh, working on the competing aspect of it, going against somebody else and, and fighting for that football. And as summer camp wraps up, the defending 6A state champs know they're right where they want to be. One month before the 2017 campaign kicks off. We've definitely made some tremendous strides. Um, you can tell our offense has been, been moving faster, playing lower, knowing our assignments, knowing what to do. Defensively, guys are swarming to the ball, getting in better shape. It's all, it's all coming along. We're, we're, we're making some good strides.